feeling baking recently and I think I'm gonna make like a berry crumble. <laughs> My best friend made um, a crumble the other day and it was like fantastic. I'm pretty sure I have all of the other ingredients that I would need to create this uh, berry concoction. I think it'll be really great, we'll see. but I just repotted my pothos plant. It was previously in this small little pot here and um, it was doing really, really well. I started propagating it in like January or February um, and that took about a month and a half to for it to like kind of grow a root system. And then I potted it um, in this pot in I'd say like March. And here we are at the beginning or mid of August and um, this is what it looks like. So when it started growing, um, I actually used a bobby pin to kind of pin down some of the nodes into 
the soil. Basically, I just kind of created a newer root system. Over here, I have my dumb cane plant, which I'm, I just repotted into this pot, but I think it's a little too small, so I'm gonna repot it back into this pot that I just took my pothos out of. Basically, I had a very large dumb cane a few months ago, and like, it completely died, and then I managed to bring it back to life, and then that died again. It's a very, very high maintenance plant, and I actually was thought that this was gonna die, but I left it alone for a couple of weeks and it still survived. So I figured, okay, let's give it another shot. I'm gonna pot it in here and uh, hope that it survives. I really don't know. I actually um, am gonna do a re-repotting, if that makes sense. This guy here, he's done a lot of growing since March as well. And his root system is, I think, a little too thick for this small pot. repotted my plants or all the ones that need to be repotted my most recent plant that i've gotten is this guy here the pot is like super duper heavy <laughs> i don't know what to name it um but yeah i really love this plant my boyfriend's mom gave it to me she knows that i love plants and honestly it was a very very incredible and such a thoughtful gift and i love it so if you have any name ideas let me know I'm honestly pretty happy with the plant repotting, but now that I've tended to my plants, I'm gonna take care of myself a little bit. So I'm gonna put in a hair treatment. I'm probably gonna do a hot oil treatment and let that sit in my hair for like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and then I'm going to clean my room during that time. So I do need to vacuum because I obviously just was repotting plants and obviously some dirt gets on the floor here and there, blah, blah, blah. Put away some clothes um, and take out the trash and stuff like that. And once that's all done, I'll probably put in a face mask and watch some Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, today is a self-care day. Today is a self-care, plant care, room care kind of day. We're just taking care of business, you know? Like I'm treating myself, I'm cleaning up my space, I'm making sure that my plants are doing well, and yeah. I really just kind of want to put stuff in my hair. So, mm. my hair is a mess, so don't judge me. Oof. I look like Alex the Lion from Madagascar. Finger detangling will take some time. It will take a very long time. So, I'm gonna just like throw on some Grey's Anatomy and watch that until I'm done. <laughs> Not my favorite. Um, I always go into finger detangling thinking that I'm going to like just be able to do like a quarter of my head at a time and it'll be fine. But in reality, I like actually need to like separate it further. So what I did was I separated my hair into quarters and then I separated those quarters into halves. So basically I detangled in 
like eighths. I just used a spray bottle to wet my hair a little bit and I used a hair oil. I got this hair oil um, from Body Butter Lady. It is a black owned company. I also got um, some other stuff from her website. I'm gonna be linking that down below. If you're curious and would like to support a smaller black owned business, there are a lot of really cool things on the website. Anything from hair oils to body butters and soaps and stuff like that. This is the organic hair food with argan oil. And I got just the plain one, unscented. Um, I'm trying to kind of veer more towards unscented stuff. Um, I also put a little bit of this black vanilla hydrating conditioner by Carol's Daughter and uh, yeah. So I got a little bit snacky and I decided to make myself a sourdough grilled cheese sandwich. We've got Parmesan, mozzarella, brie cheese with tomatoes, and I turned the sourdough into garlic bread. Ooh, yeah. I have those Hannah Montana transitions stuck in my head. Like, I can't get them out. I'll be doing anything and I'll be like, ooh, yeah. And that's like any of them. Oh. Okay, so I made this crumble. Oh, wow, look at her. Look at her. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Freaking crumbly and scrumptious. Okay, I actually haven't tried it yet, but let me see. Let's see how this goes. Pretty good. <laughs> I am happy with the results. Mm. What is up? Hello. We're gonna put on a face mask. I'm also going to use my other hand to apply. My right hand is so much more uh, adept at applying like face masks, so. So I'm just supposed to leave this on for like 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll rinse. Anyways, if you're interested in what face mask I used, it's this guy right here. It's time for me to wind down. I've been um, watching TV and on the move all day long and uh, my brain is running at a million miles per hour. So it's time for me to finally just like chill out. I'm gonna do some reading and wind down for the next like 30 minutes to an hour so that my mind can just kind of calm down a little. And then I'm gonna try to go to sleep, yeah. After this, nothing really eventful happens. Thanks so much, you guys, for spending a day with me. Uh, I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. I had a good time. And yeah, have a good night, you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.